Good morning everybody and welcome back to Visit File Coast. I don't need to tell you where, where we are, do I? Because obviously that's the Pleasure Beach, that's the Boulevard Hotel. We're at South Shore at the side of the seafront. That's the big blue hotel at the Pleasure Beach. And today we're going to walk southwards and we're going to take a look at this side of the road. So this is a two part of this video. I'm going to do this side of the road in this direction and then walking back part two is going to be the promenade side of the road and the great promenade show. So if you've subscribed to Visit File Coast to our YouTube channel you'll know that if you've hit that little bell for notifications you get an alert when we upload a new video. So if you're new you know what to do hit that little bell make sure that you've subscribed because we cover all kinds of interesting things it's an absolutely glorious morning this morning it's the 25th of november and when i i'd looked at the weather forecast and when i got up this morning it said that it was going to be fine so i believed it i believe everything the bbc tells me Mm, yeah, right. So, if you're familiar with Blackpool, you'll know that some of the properties at South Shore have, shall we see, shall we say, seen better days, like this one that we're just passing now. And a lot of them, in fact, they've had their, they've got the builders in look, they've had the upstairs windows replaced. So that one's being that one's been refurbished and in the heyday these hotels down here were posh this was where you came to stop if you wanted a posh holiday in Blackpool in the heady in the heady days of it being the only place to go before everybody started going abroad and in fact, as a, as a small child, my parents, and when I say small, I mean about three, my parents brought me here to a hotel at this end of Blackpool. And I can just vaguely remember it being a really lovely place. So with the decline of the British holiday, when everybody started going abroad for the ensuite bathrooms, a lot of these really big hotels down here started to suffer. And in fact, quite a lot of them are only just starting to sort of turn the corner now, as, as you might say. So there's been a lot of work done. I mean, that one that we've just passed, that one there on that corner, is obviously having a refit. In fact, from here, you can see that it looks a lot better. Um, the elderly hotel is going up into the roof. I think this one here that's boarded up, was that a was that a, some kind of hotel for people with disabilities or a care home or something? Not quite sure. And on here, this is New South Promenade. You've got these lovely little gardens as well, which are nice. If you look at it from above, if you look at it on a map, they're sort of laid out in crescents. So we're coming up now to the Hampton by Hilton and here were more of these hotels that followed this shape so the, the, the crescent continued so the shape of it continued round and came back to meet the, the main road um, and the, the hotels on that section were well they were abysmal you can't call them any other they were burnt out and derelict and in May 2018, the Hampton by Hilton was opened and we were actually at, I was actually at the opening event. <laughs> I'm laughing. Um, that's one thing I really love about working in Blackpool, that you get, you get the opportunity to do so many different things. So we were at the opening event and in, this is the main entrance on this corner here, which is why I've just paused a minute here. And you know those really big deck chairs <laughs> that people have with the, the logos on and what have you? 
Well, at the time they got their really big deck chair with Hampton by Hilton written on it. And a few of us that had been at the event on our way out, we'd not had anything to drink, I promise. We were, we were a little giddy, shall we say. So we, we got dressed up in the box of props that were underneath the chair and we performed a rendition of Oh I Do Like To Be Beside The Seaside whilst sat in the, in the deck chair, which was very funny at the time. Um, so the Hampton by Hilton are actually extending their hotel. So you might think that Blackpool is not short of car parks. Pausing again to show you the, the, the spare bit of land here. And in actual fact, a lot of the car parks that people say Blackpool's got too many, um, they're actually temporary use while the land is waiting for redevelopment. So the Hampton have got planning consent, it was, it was only passed in September this year, in September 2020, to build an extension, um, adding another 74 bedrooms on. So that's what's going on that, on that bit of land. So continuing this morning's demolition theme, because we've been, we've been videoing the demolition of the Ambassador Hotel and the demolition of Wilkinson's, it doesn't seem two minutes since we were stood here watching them demolishing the buildings that were on there. So now we're coming up to the Solaris. And you might have been in the Solaris. If you've not, it's well worth a visit. Oh, fab. I knew they were taking the mirror ball down. And it looks like for once we've just managed to time it right because that's what they're doing right now. Can you see they've got the top slice off? So that's another video that we shall be making in about another 20 minutes. <laughs> and if you've subscribed, you'll get all the notifications for all this interesting stuff. So you see what you're gonna miss if you've not. So you know what to do, hit that little bell. Subscribe and hit the bell. So this is the Solaris Center. And this building's been here donkey's years. In fact, looking at it, this is another Art Deco one. Um, and we used to come here. We used to have a, a cafe on the front at the right-hand side in this side of the building, back, back in the day. Um, and we used to come, in, come to that when, uh, when I was a little girl. And now Blackpool Council own and manage this building and they've got a cafe in it, which is at the sort of back, backing onto the, onto the gardens. So it's open to the public, it's, it's council offices, so all these buildings on, across the front are council offices. This is the main reception in the, in the centre, I think it's probably closed now, because obviously we're still on lockdown, but it's got a blue plaque as well. So you just go straight through those doors and straight through the building and the cafe's at the back or you can access it from the back if, if you prefer. And they've got their own little wind generators. I would imagine they generate quite a bit of wind because they're never shot of a breeze on this coast, are we? So now we're coming up to the next big development. Now these are residential and what a view. I mean, you can't, you can't say any other, can you? And this is the site of the former Abbeydale care home. Now, if you're a local, you'll remember this because it was what you can only call a dive. Um, and for quite a long time, I mean, it looked awful and I've had the misfortune of needing to go in it. Um, but for a long time, there've been reports about how the um, staff and the, the, the way that the place was run and the way that the residents were looked after. It was for older people and people with dementia. Um, and then finally, in the end, the residents were all moved out in June 2013. They're gonna be amazing. Coastal Point, 
one, two and three bedroom apartments for sale, residence roof terrace, on-site fitness centre. Purchase off plan available, part exchange assistance sale and help to buy. Wow, what a place to live. If you're watching our live video this week, you'll have heard me say that I could, I'd, I'd love to live on Blackpool Seafront. <laughs> I could just sit. I could just sit all day being as naughty as I like, couldn't I? That looks so much better. I mean, the old, the old care home, if you remember it, that was rendered in that awful, mauve coloured, um, like pebble dash stuff that, that was really popular in the 70s. So all these corners all being, good morning, all these corners being remodelled and tidied up. What a lovely place to live says Jane that lives on the seafront. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, quite a few of these hotels down here have been tidied up and we're starting to get round to the bit where it's residential as well. So you've got another little garden crescent, that sounds like a plane. Can't see it, all I can see is seagulls. You've got another little garden crescent between the highway and the actual hotels so that's a nice nice clean and tidy one if you're looking for somewhere to stop at South Shore if you want oh this is that safe hands one unless I've got the wrong one if you want to buy a hotel there's one for sale there and you're down almost at the boundary with St Anne's here it's um it's a lovely walk, especially on a day like this. In fact, I'm getting quite warm. The sun's gorgeous. So every so often, there's a, there's a cut through as well. So you might remember that the old promenade across here had sort of similar matching um, shelters and posts and gateways and things so they were very similar to these these gate posts with the the, the balls on top and there were there were little paddling poles and various different stuff and then these are residential again in a lovely spot that sounds like another plane of course we're near to the airport here it is a plane are you ready quickly where is it can't find it! <laughs> Goodness, I'm useless, aren't I? I think I'm pointing in the right direction. Anyway, nice blue sky if I missed the plane. Um, because Squires Gate Airport is not far up here on your left, on Squires Gate Lane. And if you can see that really big building in the distance, as we're coming up to it, that one there, that's the new tram shed. So when the um, Blackpool Transport tram depot moved from um, go on Rigby Road, it, this is where it came. So when the when the tramway was all completely upgraded and the new trams came into operation, the, the tram shed was built at the same time. So that's where the that's where they go to bed for the night. Never wash in the morning, and where the drivers pick them up and all the rest of it. Oh, it's a big puddle. Bit of a jump. Oh, oh, I've got that straight in my foot. Goodness me. Didn't make a very good job at jumping it, did I? Oh, soggy toes. So, part two of this video is the other side of the promenade so I'm going to walk you up to the corner and then we can see the the tram shed and where you turn up to Squires Gate Lane and then I'll walk back and do a separate video of the great promenade show which is the artwork trail along the seafront you might have noticed as we've been walking there are various different, can you see the, the submarine there? Various different things on this 
promenade which are all part of an outdoor artwork trail which is going to be in the next video so if you've subscribed and you've hit the bell for notifications you'll know when we've uploaded that and if you are a big fan of the file course you can also sign up for our weekly email newsletter goes out every week it's packed full of interesting stuff and news and events and all kinds of things um, so if you just go to visitfilecoast.info you can sign up there in fact the link is in the description to each video that we publish so you should be able to find that easily so this is the tram shed in all its glory Oh, there's a tram there, look. So the tram, the tram system runs from here all the way to Fleetwood Ferry, which is in fact where that one's going, according to the sign on the front. And that's the welcome arch that you see as you come into Blackpool when you arrive to do whatever it is that you're going to do. And... If you follow the road round that way, it takes you next through the sand dunes and up to St Anne's and straight down there is Squiresgate Lane and that takes you up to the airport and Morrison's and the little retail park and then eventually to the motorway. So that concludes your little walking tour of New South Promenade at Blackpool. I hope you've enjoyed that. Give it, a, give it a like, give it a share with all your friends and don't forget to subscribe and we will be back. We'll be back soon, said Arnie. See you later folks, bye!